Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to another week in the life of Just Purely Because. I actually really enjoy doing this, it's actually really fun. So today, today is Monday, we're actually gonna do like a full week this time rather than six days. Yeah, so today what I need to do is I need to finish editing last week's vlog, which will be like the one you'll see first. And then I also need to go down to the hotel, I need to go down to the Hilton, which is where my auntie and uncle were staying at the weekend pick up my jacket because I ended up leaving it there. Hopefully the manager put it somewhere safe because that's that's who they left it with. So hopefully that's like easily done and not a hassle because yeah, I really need my jacket back. But yeah, other than that, I don't really know what's going on this week. It's completely open. Except for on Sunday, I'm running my marathon. Oh my God, it's actually happening. Can't believe it. So yeah, gonna be running a marathon. I do need to at some point go for like a practice sort of run like tomorrow or today really. Just see how I get on with it. My initial target was to do it in under four hours and I think I probably would have been able to get very close to that if I was still training properly but at the minute now it's just like just make sure you finish it and you can just say that you've run a marathon. So that's going to be on Sunday which I'm super hyped for. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be wicked. Hopefully the weather's nice as well but not like too nice because it'll always be like baking hot because then that would just be awful. Like nobody wants to be running 26 miles in blistering heat. Like nobody wants that. Yo, so just got back from the Hilton to get my uh, get my jacket that I ended up leaving there very stupidly. The staff there were lovely. They were really, really helpful. I made it, made life super easy. Just literally walked in. They were like, what's your name? I'm like Jay. And then they were like, oh, right, yeah, two seconds. Run off, come back, done. I thought it'd be so much more complicated than that. I thought I'd have to get them like the, the room that my auntie and uncle was staying in and like Becca numbers, all that kind of crap. But. They were really easy about it, it's perfect. I've come back to uh, my building being a building site, which is not fun. We're getting new doors, new front doors, which is really weird. And we didn't get told about it. I'm sure that's like not allowed. What I will be doing is I'll be editing the vlog that's still not out yet, but will be at some point this today. So uh, yeah, as well as that, change of plans. I'm going football football this evening, which I'm properly looking forward to. Yeah, just looking forward to playing football again. It's absolutely great, love it. That'll be one of the parts of the fitness aspects of uh, doing this marathon on Sunday. So uh, hopefully that goes well. I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely out of breath. Uh, we're from walking to the hotel and back. <laughs> it's not a good time, is it? <laughs> just actually absolutely amazing it's so fun yeah today um i've already played football once this week played it on monday went to uh went to hope lawns went and played football there so much better playing on grass and amazingly my boots that i've not worn in like five years still fit i mean they're falling apart but it's not the point they still fit so they, they still did a job um today we're going football again and i'm actually going to try and vlog some of playing today because yeah it's just going to be it's just cool i just really like playing football and I'm trying to get in as much fitness as I can for preparation for Sunday, which is the marathon. Just had a look, got my confirmation email and stuff, so that, that's all set up, ready to go. Um, just organising now. My uh, my two friends are coming up from back home, um, Reese and Amy. They've both been, Reese has been in a couple videos. Amy's been in like the background of a couple videos. But uh, she's also got a channel. So uh, what I'll do is I'll stick the link for that one down below. They stayed, her and her, her and our friend Becca, they both do some really cool stuff. They used to have a channel back in the day, which was like quite a big, it was quite a big deal back in the day. It was like, I wanna say 2012, I think around about then. And uh, yeah, they had a channel back in the day and it was quite a big deal. So uh, go check out their stuff, it's really cool. They're gonna be coming down on Friday or Saturday, depending, um, haven't sorted that bit out just yet. As of right now, I'm literally just finishing watching the Mandela McCann documentary. Oh my God, mate, it's rough. Really, really rough. But, literally on the last episode now and uh it's very questionable i like i don't actually know if she was abducted or not it's a bit questionable like and i know you're not meant to give your opinion on youtube but something very something very dodgy happened and i think the parents mm, don't, don't want to say it but i don't know it's a bit, a bit dodgy so uh yeah i will uh see you when i'm going football sweet what's happening guys i'm on way to football same place as last week weirdly enough <laughs> can't really tell but it looks like a lovely day but it's absolutely freezing I feel like I made an error wearing shorts probably a bad move but probably looking forward to it this is me being like excited <laughs> I am actually really looking forward to it the only thing I'm worried about is if I get injured because yeah if I hurt my legs or anything or any kind of little knock it's basically going to ruin Sunday so I need to make sure that 
kind of take it easy, but I'm too competitive. I take it. I take like sports too seriously. Like I know that I'm gonna try and take it easy for like 10 minutes, and then yeah, gonna be going like full blown. <laughs> I know, this isn't me playing football, I'm sorry, I forgot again, it's really really bad, but next time I will definitely try to actually vlog play in the match, so I'm working on it, I'm working on it, but I've got to break it to you all, I am an idiot, I know I said in the last clip, actually, do you know what, I'll just replay it. The only thing I'm worried about is if I get injured. Yeah, what do you think I've done? Yeah, I've hurt my fucking quad, <sighs> my left quad, I've hurt it. I don't know what's wrong with it. After about 20 minutes of playing football, everything was going fine. I was really enjoying it. I was loving life. And then I just felt it go like it got really tight. And uh, basically when I bend it now, I mean, I can like, move it but straight, but when I bend it now, it's not, it's not good. That was uh, the events of today. Hopefully, hopefully my legs fit, is feeling better tomorrow and that uh, I don't have to not run a marathon. I mean, mentally, I'm like so ready to run it. I just don't want it to get to Sunday and I'll do like an hour and it starts hurting. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed, pray for me that everything works out okay in the end. How many WhatsApp messages you have Hey guys, what is happening? Uh, today is Saturday and I, I haven't vlogged anything I don't think since Wednesday because I've ended up getting a fever and like you can hear it a little bit in the way the way I sound right now, but like my nose has been blocked. I've had this, this is a horrible, horrible cough. Like been wheezing and stuff, and it's just disgusting. And yeah, just had this ridiculous fever where like I, my temperature is like soaring, but I feel cold. It's not good. It's not good. Of all times, up for somebody who never gets ill, to get to start feeling ill this week leading up to running my first ever marathon, it's just really, really, really crap. So um, I've been dosing myself up with loads of lem tip and ibuprofen and stuff like that, just to try and feel better. But um, and I'm still going to run. I'm still going to still still going to allow myself to start the marathon. But if I don't think that I'm going to be able to finish it, I'm going to allow myself like to just say yeah, I'm not. I can't do this. I'm going to quit. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully I do feel fine to carry on and just get on with it. But it's not. It's not worth like killing myself over, especially if I'm not well. So yeah. That's why I haven't vlogged the past couple of days because, um, yeah, I've not not been well at all, and it's just like the most annoying thing because I just never get ill, and then to get a fever and to feel to feel as rough as I have done, it's not it's not been good. It's almost here. That'll be me tomorrow at the finish line. Wait, hang on, what are you doing that way for? Huh? You need to film the other way. Film the last bit. <laughs> like as if you're watching a video. Oh, I'm not a vlog. Yeah, but then I can't get your shoes in. And then you step back a bit. He don't need his shoes in. He wants to see the t-shirt. It's a new sign of it. Brian Marathon. It's one year deal. <laughs> Expires tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> What's the number on the back? Got some, got some, got some toffee quote. Go every day out. <laughs> Free marathon food. Reese gone for the same thing. Amy's gone for the mad salad. I think your boy did good. He did good. I mean, you finished all of yours. <laughs> you, did better, you did better than all of us. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday and it is race day. It's currently like five past seven in the morning. Just about to make sure I get up, get loads of food down me, get another lem sip on the way because of the fever and stuff. Some more ibuprofen as well. And uh, yeah, quarter to ten this morning is when it's going to happen. I'm so excited. Oh, I was like really, really close to like not doing it because um yeah, because of the fever and hurting my leg and like I never get ill and that kind of thing. I thought maybe maybe it's not, not worth it. But um I posted a picture yesterday of um me me getting a top and I got all of these all of these lovely, lovely, lovely comments like just proper proper motivated me. So um thank you to everyone who's wished me like who's wished me good luck. I uh I'll try my best. So, uh, yeah, so excited. Can't wait. It is an absolutely lovely day today. Like, proper lovely. It's freezing cold, but I've got a feeling it's going to get very warm very quickly. Look, it's just absolutely lovely. Would you just look at that view? It's beautiful when it's like this in the morning. Absolutely beautiful. Also, it's worth mentioning, a uh, massive shout out to Amy and Reese for uh, getting me, like, or get me dinner yesterday. That was, like, absolutely lovely. So, thank you guys so much. It was beautiful. They did it as like a, I think they planned it out. They did it as like a thank you for um for staying for staying here for the night. So um yeah, cheers guys. It's absolutely great. The food was 
good. I mean, I've never, I've never had a bad Nando's. I think we, we actually spoke about it, like we were saying. Nando's is like always a good, safe option. It's always good. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Here's the first part of a uh, preparation for the marathon. <laughs> Here we are, lads. This is the kit. That's what we're going to be going with. Basically, it's the same kit that I've been running and training in properly like, this whole time. And uh, got my Under Armour. I'm going to wear a bandana because of the hair. I don't, I don't think wearing a hat's a good idea. I think I'll probably get too hot. But uh, yeah, it's all actually happening. Here we are, lads. We've made it. Very soon to start. It's like 15 minutes till we actually start. I am actually really excited now. I was a little bit nervous earlier, but so hyped. There's so many people. Look. So many people. two minutes away from getting your marathon underway. Are you there sure? is 30 seconds until the start of the race. 30 seconds until your marathon begins. Race starts. You feeling ready, you feeling good. You've done all the work. This is your time to enjoy it. It's a beautiful day here at Brighton. Let's have a bit of fun and run a measly 26.2 miles. Easy, you've got it. Are you ready, Brighton? That was pretty pitiful. Are you ready, Brighton? This is not fun. Coming up to halfway. I've got to do all this again. Oh, no. My chest is ruined. One of my legs has gone to jelly. Oh, I'm in a bad way. Oh, fuck no. There we go. So close to the finish. Just want to get there. Come on. Let's go. Come on! See it! I can see the finish line! Oh, get me there! Come on! 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 Come Look at the medal, look. Nothing will ever change that. Oh, a little bit emotional. I've wanted to throw one of these since I was a kid. And I've finally done it. <laughs> we haven't fought a key, one of them cries on camera. Oh man. <laughs> For um, anyone who wanted to know why I chose to run a marathon, it's because at the point of me decided to do it, it's just to show that you can come back from anything, you really can. 